Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video, I'm going to show you my new patcher preset, which is an ear training tool for matching the levels of audio. And now I can change the random level again by playing on the MIDI out. And I can try and do it again. Um, and you know, if I'm wrong, it'll say incorrect, but if I get it right, um, you can see it will say correct. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to use it. And then in the description, there is a link to where you can go download it if it interests you. Um, so you can see in the playlist, I have a drum loop. But this preset works with any kind of audio input on a mixer track. So the first thing I'm going to do is link this drum loop to a mixer track. Then I'm going to open up a patcher and load the preset. Now it's important to keep in mind that on the mixer track you don't want any effects after the patcher uh, because they can mess with the perceived level and kind of make things harder for you. Uh, but you can have any effects before the patcher. So if you've made a synthesized sound and you want to practice using that sound and it has some effects um, in the mixer, you can still use this preset. You just want to make sure that the patch your preset is after any effects that you have on the mixer. Um, so I'm putting right on slot 10. Uh, now I'm just going to load up the presets. And then there's just one more thing that I need to do before getting started. And that is add a new channel and MIDI out and then set the port to 100. And what this does is it allows you to randomize the level of the audio. So you can see if I play the drum loop and I hit any key on this MIDI out, you should hear that the level is changing uh, randomly. And that's just a MIDI out set to port 100. Um, and if you can't get that to work, you can go into the map and double click to open up the resetter and hit one of the keys on that. Because, you know, it's the resetter, it resets the randomness. And so your goal is to, you know, set the level randomly by um, pressing a key on the MIDI out. And then you can switch between A and B. When this is pressed in, it's the reference audio, it's the reference level. And when it's out, it's the audio that you control the level of. Uh, so you can see when it's out, I can change the level, but when it's in, it doesn't change the level of the random signal. Um, so I'm gonna try and match these levels, see if I can get them correct. And you can see I'm switching between them. Um, I'm adjusting the level and then I will listen to the original sound and then, you know, the level that I'm setting. Uh, so that sounds close to me. And you can see I am correct. Now, if I go back and I change this um, even, you know, slightly, then I go back to check the answer. It's incorrect. So that's the basic idea of how it works. And now I can change the random level again by playing on the MIDI out. And I can try and do it again. Um, and, you know, if I'm wrong, it'll say incorrect. But if I get it right, uh, 
um, you can see it will say correct. So you test your skills on this panel and when you think you have it right, you can go to check your answer and it will show correct versus incorrect. Um, and then you can also change the difficulty level. So if you're starting to get um, it right, you know, 100% of the time you can increase the difficulty. Or if you're having a really hard time, you can decrease the difficulty. Uh, if you have the difficulty all the way down, you'll hear um, when I adjust the level. You know, there's only two steps. It's either quite soft or it's quite loud. And then as you increase the difficulty, there will be more steps to work with. So since there are more steps, you know, the increments between each step are a bit closer together and it'll be harder to um, get the correct answer. So what I would recommend, um, especially if you're new to production and new to mixing, is start off with a lower difficulty, probably not all the way down, but somewhere pretty low. And then, you know, if you're getting it right most of the time, turn it up just a little bit and, you know, keep increasing it until you start to get it wrong. And then you know, practice at that level a bit before turning it up. And the difficulty does go quite high. Um, so it does get quite difficult. Uh, I think even setting it halfway is a decent challenge. Uh, but you can, you know, you can try that out, see if you are, you know, if you're getting it right a lot of the time, just keep turning it up until you start to get it wrong and see if you can even hear the difference between the increments. So I'm going to go through once more just to make sure you know how it works. So it's a MIDI out set to port 100. You know, just press a key. It will randomize it. And then, you know, you can adjust the difficulty if you need to. And you can swap between. Remember, if it's out, you're listening to what you can adjust. Uh, but if it's in, you're listening to the reference, which is what you're trying to match. So, you know, you try and match that. Um, you can tell clearly I'm wrong right now. So if I click to check my answer, it shows incorrect. Uh, but then if I take the time to listen, Yeah, you know, that sounds right to me, so I can check my answer, and it is correct. Um, and then if I go in and change it again, incorrect. So I'm going to provide a few notes on my experience with this uh, before finishing up this video. And these are that I found it easier to get the right answer on sounds that had more mid-range and high frequencies versus sounds that were primarily bass frequencies. Um, yeah, I found it much more difficult to accurately match the bass, um, especially just sub bass. And I also found it easier to match if I wasn't listening to it too loudly. You know, as long as I was able to hear it clearly, I found it easier if I was listening to it at a softer level. So hopefully those tips will help you. Hopefully you get some good use out of this plugin. Hopefully you like it. And you know, you can use it on any kind of sound. I highly recommend you try routing different kinds of sounds through the mixer so that you get some experience uh, playing with different sounds. And one last thing that I forgot to mention is, you know, set the sound to be as loud as you want it to be at the max level, because when this is at the max level, it's at the original input. Um, so you can see if I, you know, set this all the way up and play the drum beat. you know, it um, is at the same level when this patch is on. So, you know, set this to a good level where it's loud enough that you can hear it clearly. And then, you know, it's not going to get any louder than that when you're using this uh, preset. But yeah, hopefully you like this preset. Hopefully it's helpful. And I am working on an EQ version of this, you know, same idea, but with EQ. Uh, so. You know, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because that will be out relatively soon. 
And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.